For most actors, a recurring role on a hit TV show is basically the dream, a steady gig that probably pays well while significantly raising their own profile as a performer. But nothing lasts forever, and sooner or later actors may, for one reason or another, decide to walk away from a lucrative TV show. Now, this could be because they want to pursue other artistic projects, they could simply have grown bored of the role, or perhaps even have aspirations outside of the acting realm altogether. Then again, maybe it's just because of those ever a tricky scheduling conflicts. So with that in mind, I'm Ellie for What Culture, here with 10 actors who just quit TV shows. Number 10, Neve Campbell, The Lincoln Lawyer. Netflix's The Lincoln Lawyer, an adaptation of Michael Connelly's series of Mickey Haller legal drama novels, counted among its main cast, Neve Campbell, who portrayed Haller's ex-wife, Maggie McPherson, throughout every episode of the first season. Campbell's role was considerably scaled back, though, for season two, appearing in just four episodes, after which Maggie abruptly left for a job in San Diego. Now, Campbell reportedly had to have her second season arc curtailed due to scheduling conflicts, as filming overlapped with shooting of Avalon, a mystery drama series based on a short story also penned by Connolly. However, once Avalon's pilot episode was shot, ABC decided not to bring it to series. And while you might assume that this would then open the door for Campbell to return to The Lincoln Lawyer in its upcoming third season, that's not quite right. Because season three will leap forward to adapt a book which Maggie doesn't actually appear in, Connolly's fifth book in the Haller series, The Gods of Guilt, there simply isn't a role for Campbell. And while it's possible that Campbell will return for future seasons, for now, her time on Lincoln Lawyer is over, and with Campbell possibly returning for both Twisted Metal Season 2 and potentially even the seventh Scream film, it's entirely possible that she stays gone for good. Number 9, Jeffrey Donovan, Law & Order Last year, Burn Notice alum Jeffrey Donovan joined the Law an order revival as series regular Detective Frank Cosgrove, the partner of Detective Kevin Bernard. Though fans of the show were initially frosty to Cosgrove, his reception improved throughout the recently concluded 22nd season. Yet it was just recently confirmed that Donovan wouldn't be returning for season 23 due to the ever pesky creative differences. Given that the show didn't exactly give an actor of Donovan's calibre and charm a whole lot to do, it's possible that he quit for a more creatively fulfilling gig. It's especially as his departure was announced mere days after the conclusion of the SAG-AFTRA strike. Basically, don't be shocked if a casting announcement reveals Donovan's next project, whether a TV show or a movie, any day now. Much as it's great to see Donovan show up in basically anything, this was hardly his finest work, so it's kind of tough to feel that bad about his exit. Number 8, Bobby Burke, Queer Eye Netflix's Queer Eye reboot has been a consistent critical and audience hit since its 2018 debut, in large part due to its wholesome LGBT representation by way of its charming Fab Five experts. Yet the first of the quintet recently announced that they'll be leaving the show after the already filmed eighth season premieres. Bobby Burke, the team's expert on interior design and home organisation, has made the necessary decision to end his tenure, with his exit statement suggesting that he's moving on to another project with the words, you will be seeing more of me very soon. It's naturally quite the shame for fans of the show and the Fab Five's enthralling chemistry, even if tabloid reports suggest that there might be more to the story than meets the eye. The queer eye, if you will. That Burke maybe was asked to leave the show due to issues between him and the rest of the cast. Either way, Queer Eye just won't be the same without him. Number 7, Hill Harper, The Good Doctor. Nobody else on this list has nearly as interesting or unexpected a reason for departing a hit show as Hill Harper, who after six seasons and well over a hundred episodes playing Dr. Marcus Andrews on The Good Doctor, has decided to step away in order to pursue other aspirations. Back in July, shortly after the medical drama's sixth season finished airing, Harper announced that he was running for the United States Senate in Michigan which naturally casts immediate doubt on his ongoing tenure in the series. It was another four months, however, before Harper formally confirmed that he was leaving the show in order to focus on his Senate bid, meaning that he wouldn't be appearing in The Good Doctor's upcoming seventh season, which is set to premiere this coming February. It'll certainly be a blow for the series, given that Harper was one of the few remaining cast members to have been there since the very beginning, but it is nothing if not a bold reason to give up a lucrative acting 
acting gig. Number six, Diane Weist, Mayor of Kingstown. Two-time Oscar winner Diane Weist is one of those wonderful actors who classes up any project she appears in. And so it was great to see her play a major role in Taylor Sheridan's crime thriller series Mayor of Kingstown as McCluskey family matriarch Mariam. Despite acclaim for Weist's performance across the first two seasons, it was reported in late September that the actress wouldn't be returning for season three. After months of rumours that Weist was planning to exit the series, it was confirmed that she has indeed left, with Sheridan having already worked her departure into the story, saying it will be story-driven in the upcoming season. Now, given that Marion was accidentally shot by her son Kyle and hospitalised in the second season finale, there is at least some track already laid to set up her absence within series three, presumably revealing that Marion will die from the gunshot. Sad as it will be to see an actor of Weist's talents take leave, Marion's death at least has the potential to catalyse some seriously dishy drama between the McCluskey brothers. Number five, Roy Wood Jr. The Daily Show. Roy Wood Jr. has been a correspondent on The Daily Show since 2015, making more than 50 appearances on the satirical news show and proving one of its most popular recurring performers. Furthermore, with Trevor Noah unexpectedly vacating the hosting chair late last year, rumours have been swirled for quite a while that Comedy Central was even counting Wood to take over. But that's evidently not going to pan out, as back in October, Wood confirmed that he would be leaving the show, citing a keenness to move on to other projects and expressing scepticism in the long-term longevity of the late-night talk show format. With The Daily Show still being without a permanent new host almost a year after Noah's departure, Wood took this period of flu fluidity to reassess his place on the show, and he ultimately decided to take his leave. Wood perceptively called the eight years on the show a good run, and while many will be sad to see him go, he'll most certainly land on his feet, wherever that may be. Number four, Kara Kilmer, Chicago Fire. Kara Kilmer joined Chicago Fire in its third season as paramedic Sylvie Brett, and over the last decade has appeared in almost 200 episodes as part of the series' colossal ensemble cast. But Kilmer confirmed recently that she'll be leaving the show after the upcoming 12th season, albeit with no formal reason given for her departure. It's also yet to be announced whether Kilmer will be sticking around for the entirety of the season or ducking out early after appearing in a few episodes to tie off her arc. With 193 episodes under her belt though, hopefully she'll make it to a tidy 200. And given that rumours about the actress's exit have been circulating for close to two years in Hollywood, it's kind of not really surprising that she's leaving. Considering that the season 11 finale had Sylvie's partner Matt Casey proposed to her, there is a totally organic roadmap for her to ride off into the sunset. Number three, Kim Cattrall, and just like that. Now, to be completely fair to the great Kim Cattrall, she checked out of the Sets in the City franchise many years ago, with her last major appearance being in 2010's atrocious big screen sequel imaginatively titled Sex in the City 2. When Revival Series and Just Like That was first being put together, Cottrell categorically confirmed that she would not be part of it, apparently due to both misgivings with the series' creative direction and a rumoured behind-the-scenes spat with co-star Sarah Jessica Parker. However, Cottrell did eventually agree to a cameo appearance in the second season's recent finale, a 71-second role shot entirely separately from the ensemble cast, in which her character Samantha has a brief phone call with her pal Carrie. Cottrell was reportedly paid a hefty bag for the cameo, an eye-watering $1 million for what was presumably just a few hours out of her day. Though some fans came to believe that this cameo was teeing up Samantha's return in a series' regular capacity for the upcoming third season, Cottrell quickly stamped out such talk, telling today, this past summer, this is as far as I'm going to go. While HBO could certainly entice Cottrell by dumping a truckload of money on her lawn, she seems pretty steadfastly committed to just taking the money and running. And frankly, as much as fans would love to see Samantha back, good for her. Number two, Kevin Costner, Yellowstone. The case of Kevin Costner and Yellowstone is a most curious one indeed. Costner portrays the protagonist of Taylor Sheridan's Western drama series, John Dutton II. Though back in May 2023, he first confirmed that he was planning to walk away from the show at the end of the fifth season. This was initially said to be due to scheduling conflicts with Costner's own Western 
film duology, Horizon. Yet with Yellowstone's fifth season being split into two, many fans expected to see Costner return for the back half, set to air in 2024. But recent reports indicate that this won't actually be happening and Costner ultimately decided to duck out of season five halfway through, with the final eight episodes set to unfold without his presence in any capacity. Now it's certainly a shame for fans, given that Costner has been the series' anchor through thick and thin, and Dutton wasn't really given anything close to a concrete ending in the season's first half. At least Paramount is electing to call the show quits with this season, rather than continue on without him. And instead, a spin-off series called 2024, currently set to star Matthew McConaughey, will then take its place. Number 1. Tracy Spiridakis, Chicago PD Tracy Spiridakis joined cop procedural series Chicago PD in its fourth season as tough-nosed detective Haley Upton Halstead. And with almost 130 episodes to her name, she's decided to duck out after the upcoming 11th season. Much like Chicago Fire's Kara Kilmer, it does remain up in the air how many episodes she will be back for next season, which is set to premiere in January. Yet it stands to reason that her arc will likely resolve her rocky marriage to Detective Jay Halstead by having her join him away from Chicago. Given that Spiridicus has been relatively underserved by Haley's material for years on the show, it will certainly be great to see her now freed up to hopefully land some more dramatic material that's more befitting her acting chops. But she has had a good run, that's for sure.